Is there blueberries in here? Why is there blueberries and bacon? Rich nigga with a bankroll just so I can add it up. Say ho, my nigga got him a a ho. He gon' listen and do what I say so. He know I'm only after the. Hi, I'm Tossie, and welcome back to my channel. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome home. And if you're a new subscriber, make yourself at home by clicking that subscribe button. So this is something that I always wanted to do. I always seen these videos of people trying snacks and different meals from all over the world. I don't know if I would call myself a foodie because to a certain extent, I am a little bit picky, but I love trying new things, especially when it's food related. I love food. I love to eat. I, I love it so much. That's why I'm built like this now, but you know. So after years of watching other people do those videos on buying snacks from all around the world, I looked into it, I wanted to do it because I always thought that that would be fun. And like I said, I love food, so I don't see it as a waste. But then I went looking for those boxes where people like order all of these snacks and it comes to them monthly and... No! 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 So yeah, I just went to my local Kroger's and I just went into the international section and just bought a bunch of snacks. Cause baby, I'm broke. I'm broke, I don't have time for that. Maybe when I get a little bit more coin, I'll look into them. But as of right now, I just gotta work with what I got. I told y'all in my last video, I got a job now, but I'm an adult now. So like, there's just certain things that need to be paid for. So it's like, even when I have money, I don't have money. So yeah. So we just gonna work with what we got. On a really unimportant side note, I am very impressed by the fact that my hair actually looks somewhat decent because I'm trying to like wait until my birthday. My birthday is next week. I'm trying to wait until my birthday to get my hair done. I still don't know how I want it done, but I just knew I needed to make this video because I'm really excited. I cannot wait. I'm so impatient. So I literally just did something to my hair and on camera and especially in person, you can't tell, but these are actually two different colors. This is actually a 1B and this is a 2. These are not the same color at all. And I don't know if you can tell. To me, I feel like you can tell, but these ain't tracks either. This is just regular braid hair that was laying around my house and I just made them into ponytails. So I don't know about y'all, but I feel a little confident. I feel real good about myself. Like I did that. I'm cute. I'm real cute. But all of that aside, let's get into the video because I wanna try this out, I'm hungry. So since I already opened them, we're gonna try these first. Not much of a try since I already tried them out, but who cares? These are Lay's Flame of Hot Dill Pickle Chips. Anybody that knows me knows that one of my favorite kind of chips is dill pickle chips. I love dill pickle chips. And to a certain extent, I kinda got a love for pickles too, but I don't eat them like that that much cause it's like too much sodium. Sometimes you just gotta be in a mood for pickles, but I love pickles. And there was this one brand of chips. I forget if they were Grippos or what, but it was this one brand of chips back in the day when I was a kid. And those were the best pickle chips. There has yet been a chip that has topped the way that those taste. But these, second best, second best I must say. But one thing I will say though, they are hot. I'm talking about they are so hot hot they will clear your sinuses you can probably see it a little bit too like look at that that's all the seasoning all the hot stuff this is it i love these oh i love these so much and look y'all i got party size this is all for me this is all for me all for me i love these so much Oh my gosh, I love these so much. I'm actually halfway done with them too. So it's safe to say, this is a plus. This is a 10 out of 10 in my book. Love it. Let me grab one more before we go to the next one. Cause... So the next thing that I wanna try is this drink called Calpico. It is a white peach drink. Judging by the letters, I wanna say that it's Japanese. I wanna say that it comes from Japan, but I really don't know. It says it's a non-carbonated soft drink. I don't see a list of ingredients anywhere. Oh, I found it. The ingredients are water, sugar, non-fat dry milk, natural and artificial flavors, peach juice concentrate, lactic acid, soy fiber, citric acid, sodium citrate? Baby, I failed chemistry, I don't know. 
But basically what I'm getting from this is that it's supposed to be like some type of milk tea, I think. I've drunk milk tea before, so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like it. So let's see, what does this taste like? Okay. Oh, smells real peachy. It tastes weaker than milk tea, but that's basically what it is. It's basically just milk tea. I like it though. I like it, it's nice. So yeah, this isn't bad. This is actually pretty, pretty good. So if you're interested, Calpico. So the next thing I wanna try, this isn't even an international snack. This is probably like strictly American, but I saw this thing called candied uncured bacon. Now, if you went to school with me back in 2016, me and my roommate, we used to survive off of like beef jerky and some other weird shit. I mean, jerky is good in my opinion, but I just found it weird that like, this is basically bacon, but like made like how beef jerky is. Like, I don't know. It wasn't refrigerated either. It was just kind of sitting on a rack. So I'm like, that's risky. But I just felt like I'm trying other things that I've never tried before. So that's already a risk within itself. So I might as well, you get what I'm saying? So I picked this up. The brand is called Columbus. The flavor I got is maple flavor. On the back, it shows you like stuff that it's supposed to go good with, like some type of beer, um, blueberries, candied pecans. I don't even know where you would get those. Like basically, if you wanted to buy this and be fake fancy, then like that's what it's showing you. I guess it's kind of trying to distract you from the fact that it's not refrigerated. I don't know, but we about to try it. I love bacon too. I love bacon so much. If this is disgusting, I'm gonna be so disappointed. Yeah, it smells like a, a sweet bacon. It smells like normal bacon. I'm gonna take a tiny piece, just a tiny, tiny piece. This is what it looks like. All that seasoning, <laughs> all of that stuff on here. Now for the taste. Whoa. Is that sugar? I mean, it said it was candied bacon. It did say that, but like, I was not expecting it to be sweet. Like, this is really sweet. Like, it's not gross, but I don't know if I would sit up and eat like a whole bag of this. This is... I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know. I mean, I see where the blueberries come into play now. This would go good with like some type of fruit. Maybe it would be good on like a salad or something, like a fruit salad with like raspberries or something. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I don't hate it, but would I voluntarily buy this again? Probably not. Like, I just don't see myself really sitting up here eating this. I'm about to try it with my flaming Hot uh, Dill Pickle Chips. Maybe, maybe it'll like set it off. I don't know. Okay, so I'm trying it with the chips. Let me see. It's good with the chips. The chips take away the sweetness of the bacon. Now that's not bad, depending on if that's what you're going for, but yeah, okay. So what would I rate these? What would I rate these? I think out of five stars, I would give this like a three and a half. Three and a half at the most. Cause it's not nasty y'all. It's not nasty, but it's just like, I didn't expect it to be sweet. Like, like, why is it sweet? I get that it's candied bacon, but like, you would just have to taste it. You would just have to try it for yourself. Like I said, the brand name is Columbus. It has a picture of Columbus on it. It says Kraft Meats Essential since 1917, San Francisco. Looks like this. If you guys wanna try this out yourself, I'm not gonna say don't do it. I really don't know what to say about this. I really don't. Like, I don't hate it, but will I buy this again? Probably, probably not. Nine times out of 10, no. But I'm gonna let y'all try it for y'all selves. So another thing that I bought was the Milkies. I got it in the flavor strawberry. It's supposed to be a carbonated drink. Now I think this is supposed to be like a milk tea pop type of situation, I think. Like I said before, I have had milk tea before. Don't hate it. So this might be good. But the fact that it's carbonated too, I'm kind of like, mm. And it does say it contains milk. So this is like a milk tea, but it's carbonated. I don't know how that would be. I don't know. I don't know. We're going to try it. We're going to try it. See if we like it. Oh, I was not expecting it to open that easy, but thank you. It 
It doesn't really have a smell to it. I, I like faintly smell the strawberry, but I don't really smell it. Oh. It doesn't really taste like anything. Hold on. It tastes like, okay, so like back when I was in second grade, I had this obsession with like the little flavored waters that had like fruit flavors and stuff in it. It tastes like that. That's what it tastes like. It doesn't taste like it has milk in it. It doesn't taste like a, a strong strawberry taste. It's not nasty, but I was kind of expecting a little bit more. Yeah, it tastes exactly like that water, but just like with bubbles. So yeah, if you guys are interested, it's called Milkies by some company named Lot or Lottie, L-O-T-T-E. So check that out if you want to. It's not bad, it's not gross. I wanna be very clear, it's not gross. I just, I don't know what I was expecting. I think I was expecting a little bit more, but it just, you know, but it's not bad, it's not terrible. So on to the next one, we got these Bubble Milk Tea Artificial Flavored Mochi. I have no idea what these are. Never had them before, never tried them before. I have no idea what to expect. I seen one that was like black bean flavored and I knew for a fact that I wasn't gonna like that because I don't really like beans like that. So beans, bean paste, mm, no, I'm good. Only beans that I'll really eat is like in chili or like like baked beans, like barbecue type of baked beans, but like I don't, I don't like beans. So I knew I wasn't gonna like that. But this one says that it's bubble milk tea. I did not realize I bought so many things based off of milk tea. I have a problem, obviously. But yeah, I just bought this because I thought that I would prefer to try this over the beans because I hate beans. I don't like beans. So why would I even try that knowing for a fact that nine times out of 10, I'm gonna hate it. So let's try this one. Oh, if it'll open, Jesus, what's this? Oh, oxygen absorber. I thought, ooh, I'm glad I read that. I thought this was extra season and I was gonna die. Okay, so let me take these out. Okay, now that I'm looking at it, I think Eugene from the Try Guys had actually bought this for the guys before. I think that's what he did. Ooh, it feels so squishy. Oh my goodness, it's so squishy. Uh, I was expecting it to be kind of like a like a bread almost. I had no idea it was like gelatin. Oh wow, this is so squishy. Okay, well, let's try it. Okay, so the gelatin part, this little clear part without the little filling in it, I am not a big fan of it without the filling. It's like, it's not even that it's gross because it kind of doesn't taste like anything, but the texture of it feels really weird. It, it's almost like, like it feels like I'm not supposed to eat it. That's what it feels like. Is it nasty? No, but I also feel like it doesn't really taste like much. Like the flavor isn't very strong. I feel like maybe that's because in other countries like America, we're really big on salt and sugar and maybe that's what it is. Like maybe this is like considered a normal amount of sugar compared to what we Americans do. So maybe this is normal. I don't know, maybe this is normal, but mm. I don't know how to feel about it. I wouldn't put it in the same category as the bacon though. I know that for a fact. I would never disrespect it like that. But I don't know. Like I just, I don't know what to put that in. I, mm, I have no idea. <laughs> Is it terrible? No. But I could also see this not being everyone's favorite. So I don't know. I don't know y'all. I don't know. Let's just move on to another drink. This is, I believe it's pronounced Maza and I got it in the flavor, guava. Is this supposed to be, I'm assuming like a Mexican drink? It's definitely Hispanic, I knew that much. And I tried to get as much stuff in the international department as I could, but I think people started getting hip. 
so like it really wasn't that many options and one thing i will say about the uh the mexican side of the international aisle y'all got some really good portions of stuff okay the only reason i didn't buy any of the mexican snacks is because they will literally give you a whole box of those bitches and i didn't want to try it and not like it so i was looking for stuff that were like in small portions but man i might go back i might go back if you guys if you guys like this video I will go back to the store and I will get all of the Mexican snacks and I will show y'all how big the portions are and we can do that. But I just didn't want to waste my money and I didn't want to be disrespectful if I didn't like it because then if I don't like it then I just have a big box of food that I'm not going to eat and that could have went to somebody else's family. Like I'm just not built like that. So this is the only Mexican thing that I got out of the international aisle and we're going to try it. And I've never like had guava anything before. At least I don't think so. So this will be my first time. Ooh. Oh, it's strong. This smells like it. This smells like that day way before we went on lockdown due to Miss Rona and me and my best friend went out for margarita night. This is what this smells like. I don't think it's alcoholic though. It was in the international aisle. Wouldn't they still have to categorize this into, you know, the alcohol? Cause they got kombucha like all the way on the other side of the store. So hold up. This smells alcoholic. This smells like it's gonna get me drunk. Hold on, let me see. Oh, it tastes good. Oh, it tastes real good. It tastes familiar though, but I can't put my finger on what fruit it tastes like. Isn't guava supposed to be like in the same family as like mangoes or something? Well, so far I don't taste any alcohol, but that's usually how it gets you. So I, I don't know. It says it contains 18% juice. So what the other percentage is, I don't know, but it tastes good. It tastes good. It just smells very familiar. So I like this, I like this. They had other flavors too, I believe, so I might go back and get those again. So the last thing we're gonna try is not international, it's actually American. I cheated, I cheated. The whole goal was to just try stuff that I had never tried before though, so deal with it. But I seen these on my way to checkout. These are Reese's Cup with marshmallows. I don't know how that would taste, but that's why we are here. So let's test it out, let's see. And by the way, they're Easter edition. So if you're watching this other than Easter, it's probably not there anymore. So I'm sorry. The peanut butter smell is really, really strong. It still smells exactly like a peanut butter cup. And I don't know if I'm the only person that do this, but when y'all eat chocolate or specifically Reese's, cause this is the only way I can eat a Reese's cup. Don't y'all put it in a freezer. That is the only way I can eat any type of chocolate because just overly melted chocolate makes me not want to eat it. And I love chocolate, but it has to be cold. It just hit different when it's cold. Let me see. And it's not really a lot of like a layer of marshmallow. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's like literally at the very, very, very top. The very top. Well, let's see. Okay, it's good, but if you're not a big sweet person, you probably wouldn't like it. Cause it basically tastes like a toasted s'more, but with peanut butter on it. That's what it tastes like. Mm. Oh yeah, this bust. <laughs> this is good. I honestly thought it would be nasty. I'm not gonna lie to you. I didn't expect this to be good. I was expecting to give y'all some type of like gag or something. This is actually pretty good. I like it. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching my bootleg international snacks. I had fun trying these snacks out. As soon as this camera goes off, I am killing all of this. My stomach gonna hate me, but oh well. Don't forget to like this video. Comment other snacks that you want me to try. If you know a cheaper place to buy snacks, let me know and share if you can. So with that being said, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.